How are y'all doing on this fine Monday late morning, Victoria Day, May 23rd, 2022, here in Vaughan, Ontario, here in York Region, also in the uh, area called Thornhill. Yes, the election is in two weeks. And, uh, not gonna really do my usual sayings and all that because that's a school bell ringing that because uh, I don't know why they do that when today is a holiday. Well, anyway, I just got off the a I got off a pretty comfortable ride on a Van Hool bus on the Viva Orange Line. Took it from Vaughan Metropolitan Center Station. I took it here to Atkinson Avenue, and I'm gonna walk myself back to uh, Promenade. Because I missed my stop. I missed my stop. So uh, I'm not using the camera for this one because I'm gonna I'm saving I'm saving my battery on that. Because after I'm done, I promise I'm gonna do a walking video from here to Young and Steels. And Vaughn is somewhere I don't go pretty often. Mainly because, you know, it's far, but, you know, I always like to venture out to these far places like this. After all, this is obviously a uh, suburb of Toronto. And, of course, you know, for access to better transit, they're building condos here. Just like how I saw at, uh, while riding along Highway 7. Hey, look, here I am. I was like, what the fuck? How did I miss that stop? By the way, this is my second time riding uh, the Viva, so... I am still relatively new to your buses, to people that live in your region. Especially in Vaughan, you know? Pretty nice day though, even though it's 16 Celsius. I'm still wearing a shorts and uh, a t-shirt, as you guys just saw in my reflection from the mirror. What street is this? Beverly Glen Road. I am not too familiar with this area, and I have not been to Promenade in... I don't even know, or I don't even remember the last time... Uh, I've been to Promenade. It's been years and years and a lot of things have changed. I know, I think a Sears used to be there and now condos are, have taken its place. So, uh, we'll see what's new there because obviously it's changed and the like I just said, I have not been there in years, probably like nine or 10 years. I can't remember, I was really young. And it's interesting because Promenade, I don't think it's that big of a mall. And you know, it's, it's open today, it's Victoria Day, it's a holiday. You know, most of the other malls like Eaton Center, York, sorry, not Eaton Center, Eaton Center is open today, but Yorkdale, Scarborough Town Center, a few others are closed. Well, this one is open. Here I am having to take a seven to 10 minute walk because I missed my stop. Well, like I just said, I'm unfamiliar with this area. Walk ahead here. What is this building here? Ah, oh, it's a Jewish learning, learning center. Cool. So it's a beautiful day for a walk. A little chilly, but uh, I don't feel anything. That's for sure. Hey, Walmart's here as well. So I think the lights is Center Street, which is where the Van Hool turned. And when I 
saw the entrance in the prom and I was like, is that where I need to get off? So I kind of hesitated for a bit. I was like, ah, shit, missed it. So I got across the street to the south side. So I'm walking fast. Hey, there's Mitch Marner, a native of Thornhill. Thornhill's very own. Seen that everywhere though. I've not done a walking day down Baffert Street in a really long time. And that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm done promenade and I grab some lunch. I have a McDonald's coupon in my bag. Hopefully there's a McDonald's around here. Probably not though, but I'll check. I can get a meal deal like a McChicken combo. Even though I just had a McChicken while by itself when I was at square one on Friday. Sadly, I don't see any sign of McDonald's. Oh, but there's also one at Baffert Street right by Fisherville Road, just south of Seals. I could definitely go there. So here's Center Street. Yeah, we're here because cars are turning. And it is a look to the west. And no, I won't do a video inside a promenade. I'm very skeptical of doing videos inside malls, even though I'm kind of tempted to. You guys probably may know why. There's the big Canadian flag flying in the distance. Not the distance, but it's quite close though. Somebody riding an e-scooter here, which is not banned in York region. It is in Toronto, but people don't enforce it. Or the law doesn't enforce the driver. No sign of McDonald's here. Oh well. I can always uh, walk down to the one at Baffers and Steels if it's still there, of course. Is that a bell tower? Somebody's trimming grass. Oh no, that's a leaf blower right there. Sucking up all the dirt. That's a jolly view over there. Filipino fast food restaurant, which I probably won't even try. Yeah, no McDonald's here. There's ones that bathrooms and steals. I think that's, that's gonna be my lunch for today. There is a Swiss chalet though. Holy shit. Two Canada geese. you boys look at look there's more over there there is more over there i don't go near them at all because they randomly attack humans like ooh. So the mall opened for the day i think about uh almost 30 minutes ago so i am good for timing There's more over there. Very much of seagulls. Oh, there's one right here. Hey, there's, I can see Young and Shepherd from here, the condos, the Emerald condos. You probably can't see it, but from my eyes, I can. Hello, Canada Goose, how you doing? So that's the, that's the stop right there. I should have got off that. 
stupid me was always familiar with directions and so much other stuff. Chicken, burger, spaghetti. I hate spaghetti. Look at all this. Okay, are these people like waiting to go inside or? You know, the mall, I know it's after 11, so. Well, your train is gonna go inside anyways and a little bit of exploring. Okay, the mall is open, so they're going inside. Entry number two. I'm gonna go over there and start my walking video. There we are. in a row, never heard of this.